welcome to an under the stories really cute fun spring summer try on haul per usual there's definitely something for everybody in this particular try on haul you guys know that i've spent all the time going through the websites cherry pickings that you guys don't have to and not only am i helping you guys out you guys are kind of helping me because in the comment section you guys really help me decide like what to keep and what to return with that being said if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to give the video a thumbs up let's get straight into outfit number one okay so if you're new around here i love dresses i'm a dress girl so we've picked out three sort of floral dresses we definitely will need to be picking between the three so the first one is this one they have it in two different kind of floral colors this i think is the darker floral because i have another one which is a different floral in a moment this i picked up in a uk8 now this is 175 pounds i'm going to keep it real with you if you have the disposable income to spend on it I think you'll be able to pull it out year in, year out. So you'll get your cost per wear. Material wise, it is only viscose though. So I would say keep an eye on my channel because H&M always, always, always do way more affordable versions of these type of dresses. 40, 50 pounds, like you're definitely going to find a dupe on H&M. That being said, the actual attention to detail in terms of like the actual floral print is a little bit more detailed on this one. So even if you do find a cheaper dupe on H&M, you know, it won't be as, it won't, probably won't be as nice. I love the fact that this had an elasticated waist, but what I did to accentuate that was just belt it. On the side, they paired it with their latest like thick black wide waist belt. I didn't want to spend money this year on the new one. I have one from like two years ago, three years ago, which looked okay, but then I also paired it with, uh, there's a H&M belt that I have, which just went a little bit better with it. So this is dress number one. I just, yeah, it's a kind of dark floral, so you can probably wear it in autumn as well as spring and summer. So a little bit of an all year round one. So let me know whether you guys would keep or return this. Let me know if floral dresses are your thing. Okay, my second floral dress is this one. I think I kind of prefer this one, just simply because I think this is a little bit more of an occasion wear piece. I think if you've got a garden party, a baby shower, a wedding, like this is going to be the one that kind of stands out a little better it doesn't have an elasticated waist it just has a tie at the back which obviously if you tie it a bit too tight it's going to ripple so it ain't going to look so hot but the detailing is in the ruffle right in the v-neck ruffle at the front v-neck ruffle at the back this one i have it in a uk8 as well and it's 145 so it's cheaper than the first one so i probably would lean towards this one and um, styled it with like nude heels it's just not warm enough for sandals right now um, and then a cute little pink nudie bag so this is the second dress i think out of the two i prefer this one but let me know <laughs> Dress number one, dress number two. Okay, so my third and final floral dress is this one. This, I think, is the cutest dress ever. It's very Bridgerton adjacent to me. I had to size up and get this in a 10. So if you're looking for it to really cinch in at the waist, try and get your normal size. If not, go down. Just because it does have this shirt on the back. So it's elasticated. So it will give you that stretch and give. The straps are not adjustable in any way. So that's another reason why if you can get your size or a size lower, I would recommend that or just like trying it on. Um, this one is, this one is 145 pounds. It has a hook and eye, it has a zip for you to get in and out on the side. The second dress also has a zip for you to get in and out. And then the first one, you just, you can put your head in and step into the dress. This is very, very pretty. It's a different, it's a little bit extra. It's a little bit out there, obviously. <laughs> So it just fell off the hanger. That's because the material of this is quite a thick and heavy material, but it's a little bit extra. It's a little bit out there. It definitely is a mini skirt. So you have to bear that in mind. But I just think this is a type of piece that is just the drama, right? You don't have to do too much styling or anything. Throw it on, it's gonna do what it needs to do. And I think you can probably bring this out year in, year out. It's probably not gonna go out of style. So of the three, I think this is my favorite floral dress. If I had to keep just one, I think it might be this one, but comment, help me out in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. We're done with the floral dresses. And because we did so many floral loud out there prints, I wanted to pick out something that's a little bit more neutral, a little bit more chic. So I picked out this one. This I picked out in a size small. I would say this runs, it has like a lot of stretch to it. It's a thick kind of crochet material. If you're in between sizes, size down 100%. This one is 95 pounds, the cheapest out of all of the dresses that we have shown so far. And kind of arguably the one that you'd get the most wear out of because I feel like if you're office based, 
corporate based or you just like to be a little bit more of a neutral babe you'll reach for this one this is very beautiful because not only does it have the tassels at the bottom but it's also got this kind of chunkier crochet detail at the bottom as well median length no adjustable straps so again just kind of bear that in mind with the sizing i'm gonna say you're probably gonna want to size down for sure if you're in between sizes like i said it's got a nice amount of stretch to it one of the things and attention to detail and other stories is just like 10 out of 10. One of the things I love about this is the way that it is on the side. So obviously it's a thick graphic stripe um, and they've just done it so beautifully here. So it doesn't kind of like mismatch. And those kind of things make a difference, especially in terms of like silhouette and things like that. So this is my fourth dress. I really, really love this. I have another kind of neutral one, which we'll get into now. This one is a little bit more of a chunkier white boucle uh, dress. If you have watched my recent H&M haul, I picked out like three or four different white Korean dresses. Spoiler alert, this is one of them. Um, but that video is already up so you can see it. This was like the And Other Stories version. This is £95 again. I have this in a size small. Slight oversized fit. This is going to be great if you're somebody that likes to travel. Um, just because it will double up really well as like a cover up. Even though it is a little bit thicker and chunkier. It does have like a crochet feel. So it, you know, get a little bit of ventilation. It does also have splits on either side. So... Look, for me, I'm trying to get my summer wardrobe to a point where each and every year I can pull out staple pieces. And I think this could be one of them. Um, in terms of like undergarments, I just had that brown Primark set on. Depending on how you feel, you can do shorts, you can do underwear as outerwear, you can do bikini, like whichever kind of is your preference. So yeah, this was the, I think this is a staple, but I think I would have to pick between this one and the black and white one. So comment. Let me know what you guys think. I only have two more outfits because I kept this one very short and sweet, very succinct. I felt like I'd hit the gaps in my wardrobe with the pieces that I had and I kind of wanted to do like a slightly kind of capsule vibe. I picked out this co set, which I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about. Um, I don't know, I paired it with a pair of boots. You can do tights. All my tights are ripped though, so annoying. I spent loads of money on Wolford ones, ripped. Calzonia, whatever it's called, ripped. Um, just go Primark, because just they're gonna rip anyway. Anyway, um, I picked this out. I started with boots. As I was saying, you can start with tights and then the court shoes, but I'm like, I wanted this to be like a spring summer vibe. So the shorts I sized upright and I have them in a medium, which is great because the drawstring is functional and it still works. I didn't want them to be hitching up in my body and they are quite short shorts, like especially the way they're cut. So these are 65. The drawstring is great, like I said, the pockets are functional, love that. It's just that where I had sized up to the medium, there just seemed to be quite a lot of extra like fabric just like bunching around because it's a thicker kind of material. Um, the matching cardigan, beautiful. I think the matching cardigan, I don't think I need both. I don't think I need the shorts. The cardigan I stuck to my size of a small. Um, and this is 120, so it's a slightly higher price point. But guys, honestly, a cardigan like this, you're going to get so much wear out of each spring, each summer. It's not going to go out of date. I'd say probably even in autumn and winter, you could probably wear it because it has kind of like gold flecks in it. So this was the penultimate outfit. Styled it as a co ward obviously, with the boots. But let me know if you guys would keep it as a co ward or would you just keep... The cardi i feel like you just need the cardigan let me know help me out okay and then on to my final piece right this i kind of threw in last minute i had my eye on it and then when i was finalizing my order i'd noticed that it had come out of the basket and i was like oh let me add it back really glad that i did i got it in a uk eight i thought it said six then let me check the price okay so it's a floral bustier applique top it is 145 pounds the only thing is though, yeah, like I said, I keep saying this, for spring, summer, I want those classic pieces which I'm gonna pull out. And if you're a person that likes to wear jeans and a nice top, hello, this is the nice top. 145 is a little steep, but I can't explain it. Like when it was on, it just felt lovely. It just felt like, you know what? I, and I put on a pair of like my, the only jeans that I pretty much wear. <laughs> They're like got a rip in them and stuff. And this just elevated it entirely, the entire look. Same little court shoes. If you wanted to be casual wear trainers, you could also do that. Do we think this is worth £145? Please comment and let me know. I just, like I said, I just feel like it fit beautifully. There was no stress getting in, no stress getting out. It has a zip, which completely undoes, right? You've also got a button. It just, it felt so nice on. It also has this um, showing in the back, so it's nice and stretchy. Yeah, I just, I'm going to bring it up close because I really want you guys to see it. It's, 
it's pretty stunning and I just, I know I'd get a lot of use out of this. Also that being said, and other stories always, 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 always has discount codes. I think I shopped with a 15% discount code or maybe a 20. I'll keep you guys posted. If there's one when this video goes up, I'll put it in the description box. Or if you guys see one, please comment it so we can all use it. But um, yeah, this is my final piece. So that is it, the rail is empty. That completes my and other story spring summer try on haul. Let me know if you guys like the more succinct very, very cherry picking kind of hauls, or do you prefer like the ones with more outfits and more items in it? Let me know. I think that was a really good haul. I feel like if I was building a capsule wardrobe, many of those pieces would form that capsule wardrobe. But as always, please comment, help me decide what to keep in return. My IG is Raquel.Saul, my TikTok is Raquel Saul. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to share it. But that is it from me. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you very, very soon.